wrap up time. If you're watching this clip, then hopefully, 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 you watched all the other clips of this episode. If not, please go back and watch them, yeah? So I have a few more words I want to add before we finish this episode. One, you've just got to love when big companies go to war with each other. Amazon and Walmart are two big companies, but considering four companies run the world, they could very well be part of the same company. Go figure. When sales occur with one company, then the other companies have to keep up with it. Amazon's little stunt here means that customers of the site will flock on the site and start with the sale price, which two weeks after sales end will raise to ungodly prices that you can't freely get out of. Walmart, on the other hand, constantly has sales. This really will get people to shop, and the customers can drop out, of, drop out of, without too steep a price. Still, I'm always partial to Amazon since Walmart fired me for no reason, but let's not hop on that. It's either here or there. Still, Amazon Prime is well out of my price range. I don't need free two-day delivery. It'd be nice, but I'm on a budget, so. Two. There are just no words that come easy for the loss of Rebecca Townsend. It's just a horrible tragedy. I do actually have a little thing my grandma told me that, that if you die, that if you die the way you want to die, then you have a truly worthwhile life and a worthy death. Something like that. My grandma had strange sayings. So while it is macabre, it holds some merit, I guess. I'm not sure. By the age of 17, she completed her bucket list. This is no small feat. So Rebecca, rest in peace, and my thoughts go out to her friends and family. Particularly Ben Arn, whose life was saved by a guardian. May have a fulfilling life, and always cherish Rebecca. 3. Seriously, Kelly Cosby did some messed up stuff, but don't take it on Whoopi. All she did was put out words for her friend. Something I hope everyone would do. I mean, she didn't try to say what he did was okay, but she just didn't want his reputation tarnished. I mean, look at all the good things Bill Cosby did. The things that make you laugh. I am far from condoning what Cosby did, but he's 87 years old. Can't the old allegations... Can we leave just the old allegations alone? Yes, it seems like I'm defending him, but I'm defending the entertainer, not the cheater. So, yes... Hate me, but I'm just trying to be a man who made me laugh despite his sex crimes, and Whoopi was doing that as well. And Bill Cosby was defending him. So what more could you want? Four. Let's take another look at family. Family is now divorced and get remarried, adding children to the new family from the husband or wife, and maybe new children from the new unit, and sharing the children with the previous partner. Family is now more than just mother, father, and children. So with that, come back for more news stories and topics. I've enjoyed talking to you, and I hope you enjoyed listening to me. If not, too by bad. Well, a new episode will air next Tuesday, so be sure to come back. So, I'll come back. Thanks. Until next time, Tim Cobbin, out.